I never say I'm a CEO. I never say I'm self-employed. I never say I'm a business owner. Anytime I'm getting financial products for myself personally, whether I'm applying for an apartment or trying to get a car loan, I always say that I'm a manager at my company and I show pay stubs for that. And they treat me like they would treat anybody else who's coming in for the financial products. Let me just see your pay stubs. If you meet two times the rental requirement, three times the rental requirements, right? Then you're approved. But if I go in and I say, yeah, I'm self-employed, I'm big CEO or whatever, they're gonna be like, oh, word? Okay, show me two year tax returns. You gotta be making X, Y, and Z. They need all this other financial documents. Nah, let's avoid all that. I'm a W-2 employee and I'm gonna set myself up properly so it'll be much more easier for me to get approved for financial products. What's up CEOs and welcome back. In today's episode, I'm going to be discussing the importance of establishing and setting up payroll for your business entity, how to save money on taxes by electing your LLC as an S corporation. And if you're a business consultant, I'm also going to show you how you can create an additional stream of income simply by just sharing the same information and helping other business owners do the exact same thing. Each one teach one, right? So let's get right into it. Okay. So it is extremely imperative that as a small business owner or entrepreneur, you structure your business financials correctly and you're very organized. One of the biggest mistakes I see small business owners do is when they're very early on in their stages of entrepreneurship, they are co-mingling their personal and business finances and they're not paying themselves a fixed salary from their business. And co-mingling just means that you don't have separate bank accounts and anytime you need money for your everyday expenses, or living expenses, you're just dipping into your business bank account whenever you please. And it's just not organized and it doesn't have any structure whatsoever. So what you need to do, I don't care how new your business is, the moment you start generating revenue, you need to start paying yourself a fixed salary, okay? Paying yourself a fixed salary that makes it clean, easy, and convenient. And the benefit of this as well is as an individual, you're, it's going to be easy for you to get approved for for financial products like a loan, line of credit, credit cards, car loan, a mortgage loan, or getting approved for an apartment, right? If you go and apply for an apartment and you say that you're self-employed, the requirements to getting approved gets 10 times harder than if you was just to say, I work at XYZ company and I'm a manager, right? In order to pay yourself as an employee of your business, you're going to need to have a payroll processing company set up. Now, I like using ADP as my payroll provider for various reasons. One of my favorite things I like about ADP is like it's a one-stop shop for multiple reasons. They can help you set up health insurance, retirement plans. They offer workers comp. Um, this is a true marketplace as you're growing your business and not having to go to outside resources to put components together. So whether you're looking for HR services or you want to set up your 401k plan, right? So um, clients your time right like if you have employees that's working for you and you need to monitor their time they're working because they're on an hourly rate ADP has this marketplace that integrates with various different service providers platforms so it can seamlessly integrate with one another ADP also files your payroll taxes for you on a quarterly and yearly basis and pays the IRS so you don't have to worry about those complicated tasks associated with running payroll like I said the main purpose is having a strategy having a platform where you can seamlessly pay yourselves and create pay stubs for proof of income. For example, here I am set up in my business as an employee, right? I'm set up in my business as an employee on direct deposit. So every single week I'm getting paid a percentage of my business revenue for the work I do. Now, if you are generating money in your business where you can pay yourself a fair salary of what you'll pay someone else to do, uh, for what you're doing, then do so. But it's really just contingent upon how much money that you can afford to pay yourself. But I highly recommend that you do pay yourself something, even if you're just making $5,000 a month, right? Pay yourself $500 or $1,000 or whatever the case may be, that makes sense. Let me just show you an example of my pay stubs, right? If I go and I wanna apply for a car loan, right? 
and they need to see the last three pay stubs, I can easily go in because I've created pay stubs for myself and view my pay stubs and download it and they'll see my revenue, the hours I work and stuff like that, right? Nowhere on this pay stub says I'm a CEO, I'm a manager, anything like that. This legitimately looks like I work at a company called ADR Group LLC and I get paid this fixed salary on a consistent basis. So this is the only financial requirement that they're going to ask from me to help me get approved for financing. Another benefit about using ADP is that they report your payments to the main business credit bureaus. This is a great feature considering that I'm paying them to run my payroll. They're going to be reporting my payments to the main credit bureaus to help me boost my business credit scores. That's a great feature that ADP has associated with their platform. When your business is making about $50,000 in net profit annually, then you should definitely consider electing your LLC as an S corporation. And what this essentially means when your LLC is elected as an S corporation, it's now a pass through entity and is not subject to corporate taxes. So let me show you what I mean here in this quick demonstration. Okay, so this is how your taxes are considered when you are simply just an LLC and you're not elected as an S corporation. So in this example, let's say that this person makes about $100,000 net profit from their business. Now, just to make things as simple as possible, the only thing I'm gonna talk about is self-employment taxes. Now, of course you have federal taxes and you have state taxes associated, but I'm only going to talk about self-employment taxes because this is the tax saving that you're doing when you elect as an S corporation. You are still responsible for federal and state taxes dependent upon what state your business is registered in and where you live. So let's say that this person generates a hundred thousand dollars net profit now of that hundred thousand dollars net profit this person is subject to a 15.3 percent self-employment taxes on the entire hundred thousand dollars which leaves a tax liability of fifteen thousand dollars and fifteen thousand three hundred thousand fifteen thousand three hundred dollars total tax liability just off the self-employment taxes. Now, once you create your business as an escort, once you elect your LLC to be an S corporation, here's what happens. Your pay, your net profit is now divided into your salary and also distribution. So out of the $100,000, let's say that this person now pays themselves a $30,000 salary per year. Out of that $30,000, that's when the 15.3% self-employment tax kicks in. And now just self-employment taxes, this person has to pay $4,590, right? Now, the other remaining 70K is now distribution, and this is not required, this is not subject to self-employment taxes. So now, because it's not subject to self-employment taxes, this leads to a $0 self-employment tax liability, okay? So just based off of this example, this is a $10,000 saving simply from just electing as an S corporation. But again, you have to make sure that you set yourself up on a salary and this is what's gonna be subject to self-employment taxes and then the remaining, uh, uh, the remaining fees, the remaining income, I'm sorry, the remaining income is going to be categorized as distribution and doesn't have to worry about corporate tax. So $10,000 savings. And of course, if you're making more than $100,000 in net profit, then that savings just goes up tremendously. So this is when and how uh, electing your LLC as an S Corp can be extremely beneficial to you. To elect your business as an S Corporation, you have to file form 2553 with the IRS. I highly recommend that you consult with an accountant or your CPA to determine if this is the best option for you. I am not a licensed accountant or CPA. I'm just telling you what I know based from experience. This is not for everybody, so I highly recommend that you consult with your accountant or CPA to determine if this is the route that you should go. But as you can see, this can be extremely beneficial when you are um, generating a certain amount of income from your business. The deadline to file as an S corporation every year is March 15th. You can file at any time, but that's going to be subject to 
penalties and fees and an explanation of why you file late in a whole nine yards. So I highly recommend if this is something you want to do, you try to meet that deadline after you consult with your CPA. So let's talk about how you can create an additional stream of income if you're a business consultant, simply by educating your clients on the importance of setting up payroll in their business. So if you're a business consultant, if you do business taxes or any financial services like credit repair, or you are an accountant or anything like that, if you work with business owners on a day-to-day -day basis, entrepreneurs on a day-to-day -day basis, then this will be a great opportunity for you to create additional stream of income. So how it works is that you must be a member of ADP. You must use ADP as your payroll provider and as your services. And once you see the great benefits that ADP has to offer and you're running payroll for your company, then you can be a referring partner with ADP and refer your clients to ADP as well. Once you refer your clients to ADP and they use ADP as their payroll provider for at least 90 days, then you will get paid a whooping $1,000 per client that you refer that uses the services. So let's do the numbers here. If you refer 20 people, that is $20,000, 50 people, that is $50,000, right? 100 people, that's $100,000. You can see how you can do that in a year, right? So this is a great opportunity for you, again, if you wanna create an additional stream of income and just educating your clients on setting up payroll. Uh, ADP also offers a service if your customer, if your client is already using a payroll provider, they will help your customer transfer over, help your client transfer over their services, take care of everything from A to Z. and I also see that they try to really beat rates as well to win clients over so um, it's a really great product a really great service a really great for you a really great way for you to um, manage your business financials and also create an additional stream of income for yourself so if this is something that you're interested in then I highly recommend that you click the link below to register as a partner I'm going to have my link below so you can do so um, you will have a representative contact you walk you through everything give you a custom quote that is manageable manageable for you to do and also enroll you into the partner service once you qualify so you can start making that additional stream of income right so that wraps up our discussion on the importance of setting up payroll for your business so you can create a strong foundation for your business growth if you found value in today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, concerns, or wanna share your experience on payroll for your business, then comment below. And if you're new here or haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on actionable strategies and insight to boost your business. Until next time, continue to invest into your business success and take care, peace.